Welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, where we explore all things books, business, and bullshit. My favorite bees. I'm your host, the Fairy Coin Mother, Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Now let's get into today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, episode 136, and I'm back today with another quick mini-sode. I hope you guys enjoyed my last two episodes where I talked about turning 35, and I also talked about my theme for January, which was hold the vision, trust the process. I was preaching on that episode. Today, I am back with a quick mini episode, and I want to talk about what to look for in a coach or fake coach versus real coach. A lot of times I just write notes in my phone about topics I want to talk about because I'll have a thought, but I need to write the full thought out when it's time to come back to it and discuss it with you guys. I can remember fully what I was thinking about in that thought or in that moment. Why are you starting a coaching program and you have not successfully duplicated your own success? Have you written down and put the steps to your success in documentation that's easy for others to follow and get the same success? That means if you are a coach on digital products, how many times have you successfully launched a digital product? How many times have you consistently made the same amount every time you successfully launch the digital product, okay? If I'm looking for a digital product coach, I'm looking for someone who has successfully launched at least five to 10 times a new digital product and who has gotten the same amount or more each launch. But also you wanna think about what does that product do after the launch? Say you had a $10,000 digital product launch when you first launched it. What were your numbers the second week? Did they fall off drastic? Did they fall off drastically? It was 10K on launch and maybe a thousand week two. Why wasn't that amount the same? Why did your digital products not keep that same energy week two? I have been selling digital products since. Uh, probably 2012. I started on like digital downloads. I've done a few different products. I've had digital downloads on my WordPress website. I've done a lot of different digital things. Um, digital patterns, digital worksheets, free downloads, so many different types of digital products. My best selling course sells every single month. At this point, I'm not a digital product coach, but if I wanted to be, I have receipts or I have the analytics to show that my best selling digital product consistently sells. Does your coach have that data for you? Can you see that the proof is truly in the pudding? Now let's talk about e-commerce coaches, print-on-demand coaches, right? I'm going to give y'all the real deal holy field. I talk about print-on-demand. I do not have a course on print-on-demand because what I normally do for my business structure on YouTube is tell you guys about different print-on-demand sites. When I'm doing these videos, I'm not doing it from a teaching standpoint. I'm doing it from a knowledge standpoint. Information for you to know. Platforms for you to know. Products that these platforms provide for you to know. There's no coaching program that I have that is a print-on-demand course. When I'm coming from the print-on-demand aspect, I'm telling you about different sites that you can use, different products that they have, telling you about the quality. That is not a course. There's no upsell really for me to give you other than I have a print on demand checklist that that's probably what a dollar. And that's just trying to help you to structure your print on demand business. If I was a print on demand coach, you could easily see that I successfully 
created at least five print on demand businesses where I make sales every single month. And when I start a brand new print on demand business, I can make my first sale within a week. I have this data. If I was a print on demand coach, first of all, you know that the information I provide on my YouTube channel is good. You've used it, it was free. You've been introduced to the way I teach. If I had a print on demand course or possibly a print on demand ebook, it would be good for you to purchase it because I have a track record of giving good information that's easy to follow, easy to use, and produces success for you. There are numerous people who watch my videos, who send me emails, who ask to send me the products, who told me they made their first sale, think me that the videos were easy and clear to understand. And all of that I do and I put it on my YouTube channel. Now I did this for a long time without even getting a check from YouTube. But again, in order for me to get a check on YouTube, my information that I put out has to be good and people have to watch it for me to get paid. If my information wasn't good and people wasn't watching it, I would not get paid. Think about what type of coach you want. If you have a service-based business, what can your coach teach you about showing up, promoting your services, and consistently making that income every week? What and how many type of service-based business have they launched? How many accurate reviews do they have? Do you constantly see the people that they've helped in, like maybe under their comments, consistently showing up to their lives and talking about their experience. This is how you have to basically be intentional and make sure you use that third eye to make sure that you're getting the help you need for the prices that you're gonna pay. We're not gonna drop $37,000 on someone who says they are a love coach. Cause baby, you, you could get on Bumble, you could get on what? What are these apps? I don't know, because I'm not single. <laughs> you get on a TV show at this point and find love and they pay you. Why would you drop 37000 on a love coach when you could go to the grocery store and find love? You can go to church and find love. You need to be intentional about what type of love you want. There's no love coach that's worth $37,000 to tell me what I need to do to find love. I can tell you right now, first you need to love yourself. <laughs> That like, but all bullshit aside, first you need to love yourself before you can love someone else. First, you need to heal with any trauma you may have or any past heartbreak before you can love someone else. And you ain't even got to pay me $37 for that. You ain't even got to pay me $37,000 for that. That was free game. With it being February, I am going to continue with the theme of love in our full episode in two weeks. I believe it's February 18th. And the theme of the month with my digital art products is also, I will always choose you. And that can be, you You can be the life you want. You does not um, have to be anyone. It could just be who you are. If you don't like me saying, I will always choose you, you can say, I will always choose me whatever way you want to flip it. That is how you will see yourself. The February digital art collection did go on pre-order in January, and now we are full in and I am shipping. If you guys want to check out the February digital art collection, go ahead over to my Etsy shop. It's www.coinsandconnections.com. I am trying to figure out the candles, but I don't really like the label, so I'm probably going to rework the candles and see as exactly how I want to style them because I just kind of put up the images, some new images on there. But I will be adding a tumbler. I added the spiral journal and I may add some more stuff. It just depends on how I feel. But last month, the sticky notes, the bookmarks and stickers did really well. I'm excited to see what happens this month. Again, make sure you guys check that out. And later on this month, I'll be doing a full unboxing of the February digital art collection. So until next time.
Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to the Coins and Connections podcast. Don't forget to leave a review and join the conversation over on Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag Coins and Connections. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Smith and at Coins and Connections. You can shop all merch at www.coinsandconnections.com. I love you more than I love this podcast. Peace.